Hello everybody, happy Monday and welcome to the guinea pig cafe. So today's video is going to be two tutorials done two different ways of the same exact item, one being sewn with a sewing machine and the other without a sewing machine. And no, it won't be hand sewn, it will be a no sew tutorial, ooh, stay tuned to see. Today's video was a suggestion left below in the comment section by somebody. They asked for a no sew tutorial and here you go. We're going to be making a snuggle sack two ways, one with a sewing machine and one without. I will leave timestamps in the description box below if you prefer the sewing tutorial or the no sew tutorial. Or if you want to watch both, I would definitely appreciate that as well. So now that all that's over with, Let's go ahead and get into the tutorials. We'll start with a sewing variation. Besides basic sewing supplies, all you'll need for material are two fleece squares cut 25 by 15 inches. Fold the material in half, making your new square 12 and a half by 15. Have your material folded with the good side of the fleece on the inside. Now, Layer your second square on top of the first. Simply sew around the edge, avoiding the side with the opening. This will be the opening for your snuggle sack. Once you sew around the edge, pull your material through so that the design fleece is outside and solid inside. Fold the edge over for a clean appearance. You may sew around the edge if you like, and that's it. Now for the no sew tutorial. For this, you'll need two squares of fleece measuring 22 by 26 inches, scissors, and a lot of patience. First, fold your material in half long ways. Line up the sides as best you can, keeping the good side of the fleece inside. Then, on the open side, measure and draw a line three inches up. This will be used as a guide for you and will keep your project even. Then, with scissors, cut strips about a half inch wide from the edge to that three inch mark we made. The thinner you cut your strips, the easier it will be for your next step. Once you've cut all the way down, unfold your material. You should have fringe on either side. Then, fold in half the other way so now you have fringe on either side, but in two layers. Keep the good side of the fleece in the middle. Now for the patience. All you are going to do is tie the fringe to itself using a simple double knot. Make it as tight as possible. This process takes the longest. If for any reason you have extra fringe at the end, you can either cut it off or just tie it to the closest fringe. Repeat the process on the other side. Once you are done, pull your material to flatten it since the tying bunches it up. You might hear a little bit of a tearing sound, but it will be fine. Now repeat with the other side of fleece.
Once both materials have the end fringe tied, choose whichever you want your outside material to be. Flip inside out so the fringe goes on the inside of the sack. Then tuck the other material in after that one with the fringe on the outside. This way the fringe will stay in between the materials and your little ones won't try to eat it if they're anything like mine. Fold the edge a bit to hold it together. And that's it! You can always switch which material is outside so it can match your cage or your mood. And those are two ways that you can make a snuggle sack for your guinea pig, both sewn and not sewn. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. And if you still haven't, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the little bell so you'll know when the next video is available. I post videos every Monday, including educational how-tos and fun little tidbits, as well as a vlog on Wednesdays. If you guys have any questions or future video suggestions, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. Thanks again so much for watching, and I hope you all have a safe and a lovely day.